Welcome back to Pixel Game Maker Tutorial. Today is a Patreon request from Benjamin Humphrey who wanted to know exactly what wall detection overlap tolerance meant. I'll also be showing how to highlight your tiles while you're editing them. And so with that said, let's get started. All right, so first I'm gonna explain the wall detection overlap tolerance. That is found in the settings, project settings. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna see it set right here. And this is referring to a dot, which is one pixel. So this is 0.6 of a pixel. And what this is saying basically is that there's going to be a little leeway if you are within a 0.6 of a pixel into the wall detection that you're still going to be able to do things. For instance, if we go zero, just a flat out zero, and then we start to uh, play test this game and we go and we hit a wall detection on the bottom, we won't be able to move left or right. Same if we hit it going to the top, we won't be able to move left or right. We'd only be able to move down because that's where the pixels are gaining. And so that's what that tolerance is. But there are some caveats to kind of understand too. For instance, in this Timothy demo that we were making, for instance, you can see that it's a very retro game. So the what I mean by that is the resolution is really small. And so you, you can see that our base movement speed is one. All right. And then we have a crawl walk, which is at 50% of that movement speed. So at some points, we are actually moving point five as far as speed goes now the other thing going on is that we have an auto adjust associated with specified pixels this again is what allows you to kind of wrap around corners if you hit a corner and i have it by half a tile which is it actually works really well but the issue is is with this default setting of a 0.6 so i'll change this back to 0.6 so remember my movement speed on this character is one the crawl speed is 0.5 because it's 50%, but this default setting is 0.6. So watch what happens when we actually get wrapped around the corner and try to go up again. All right, so here we are, I'm going to crawl. So I'm crawling and now I'm going to wrap around this corner and now I'm gonna to try to go up and I can't. And that is because my movement wrapping around the corner is at 0.5. So I kind of missed the overlap setting by 0.1%. So in order to fix this, if you're ever running into this issue, you go to project settings and you can't do 0.5 exactly. So I have to go down another point. So 0.4, I could do 0.5, but 0.4 is easier. And so I'll just do okay on that. And now when I crawl and wrap around this corner, I'll be able to move up again. So do consider this based on your move speed and this is mostly really going to affect you on low retro games like this, where your move speeds are really small. And so wrapping around that corner on a slower speed wasn't going to get enough overlap. So I had to change it to 0.4 in order to get that to work. So that is the wall detection overlap. Hopefully that made sense. Now let's move on to the tile highlight. And for that, we're going to go to another scene. I believe it's this one. And what we have going on in here is that I changed some mechanics where this rock can now go over the river. So now when I'm play testing this, just to make sure that no bugs are happening, I'm play testing it. Everything's working out just fine here. I'm gonna throw it over the river. And then when I go to pick up the rock and let's just say I try to throw it over this river and it's not working. And it's because I haven't updated this tile to be the same tile as this one to throw over the river. Basically that was the, the fix for that. But the reason I point this out is that there's an easy way to see what tiles you're using. For instance, we all know that you can right click and it will show what tile you're using. So I could right click this one and it shows I'm using this wall restriction. I could right click this one and it shows that I'm using this, you know. But one easy way to do this is I can go right here and I can say, okay, this is the tile that I'm using and now I'm gonna show highlight. And I can see that this is where that tile is being used but I need it over here. Well, let's find out what tiles I'm using on this one. Let's see. So select this one, show highlight. You can see that it's part of, of this tile. So now I'm just gonna click back on this tile and show these ones. And then I'm just going to highlight these ones. And you can see that as you do it, it changes. And now it's really easy to see what tiles are what. Very useful for restrictions to just show them real quick because they're kind of just little red boxes and most of the time they're transparent. But you can see, especially if you have multiple ones, like this one is a, enemies can see through this tile. Enemies cannot see through these tiles. 
and then this tile restriction is one that only player bullets can can be thrown over and enemy bombs i guess you could say but but yeah so anyway that is the show highlight feature you can remove it now one thing to notice is that if you do right click it's going to say show highlight it's going to show it on the one that the tile selected so make sure that you select the tile then show the highlight and then you can only remove it if you're selecting that tile that is already selected so hopefully these topics helped you out if you have any questions comments below patreon steam forms we'll get you figured out with that said i'll see you at the next video